Math suits my, my passion for, for discovering new things because it's really unbounded in what you can do. There's not limitations. You have a freedom that you don't get in other fields. I'm Vincent Thompson. I'm a 2020 graduate in mathematics uh, with a minor in physics. I'm not your typical college student. Um, I didn't really know anything about college uh, until five years ago. Um, I had just gotten out of prison and I didn't know what I was going to do with my life, but while I was incarcerated, I decided that I had a passion for mathematics and physics. And so studying mathematics has really appealed to me, um, mostly because of that ability to, to move laterally. And you can find applications everywhere. You can uh, sort of you have a freedom that you don't get in other fields. My name is uh, Francisco Alarcón. I'm a professor in the Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences at IUP. To pursue higher level math, to do research in pure mathematics, it is more important that you are willing to work hard, that you're motivated, that you're a self-starter, and that you are uh, willing to struggle. That drive uh, and that uh, desire really has now gotten him to be able to not just secure a uh, admission to graduate programs because in fact he had to turn some of them down. Um, but Rice University where he's going is uh, considered much more highly ranked and, and that is really a, a affirmation. So working with Dr. Alarcon has been the most transformative thing in, in my educational career so far. He gives me the room to grow and he guides me in the right direction. So he's always been there whether it was a problem on our research or if it was uh, relating to graduate admissions or uh, even just, hey, can you take a look at this problem or something interesting that I found. When people tell me that they're sort of stuck where they are in life, I mean, that sort of hits this chord with me because I, I felt that way. You can't count anyone out. Um, you just can't say that about people because, I mean, you might have felt compelled to say that about me seven years ago if you would have met me. Uh, and I know when I, people see me today, uh, they can't believe the changes. And that's one of the things that I, I want people to see that change and have that inspire hope that whenever they're at their lowest point, that there's, an, there's a brighter side to it.